the first lecture of the course on um, algebraic topology and it is an introductory lecture so in, the, in this initial part of the course we will introduce the basic concepts of algebraic topology the expression algebraic topology comprises two words one is topology which is a branch of mathematics that studies topological spaces and continuous maps between them. Two topological spaces are considered to be the same, in a sense, if they are homeomorphic. Two topological spaces being homeomorphic, I remind you, that means that there are two maps going from one space to another and, and from the codomain of the first map to the domain, in such a way that the composition of these two continuous maps is the identity if taken on the domain and then if taken on the codomain. The second word is algebraic. Algebraic is an adjective indicating a particular kind of topology. Specifically, it refers to the techniques that will be used to study topology. And these techniques come from algebra. Algebraic categories are in many ways simpler than topological spaces uh, whose category usually is denoted by top. And to study top, which is a very complicated category, by means of algebraic techniques, we use functors going from top to some algebraic category. All of these functors not only send homeomorphisms to isomorphisms, but also homotopy equivalences, which is somehow more relaxed uh, concept than homeomorphisms, to isomorphisms. So see the next lecture, lecture 1.1, for the definition of homotopy equivalences. Typically, algebraic categories will be uh, things like a category of groups, category of modules, modules over a, a, ring, a commutative ring, uh, or even non-commutative rings. The prerequisites for this course are essentially of these three kinds. The definition and basic concepts about topological spaces and continuous maps, in particular separability axioms. And then the second group is concepts uh, such as connection, pathwise connection and compactness of topological spaces. And third, matrix spaces. So one should be accustomed with these notions before starting to consider to follow the following lectures. And the common notation that we will be using is so the symbol Rn with this blackboard character here for R uh, will be the Euclidean and dimensional space. And normally I will be denoting the unit interval uh, which means the closed interval from 0 to 1 although sometimes might indicate uh, an index set so a set in which there will be some uh, index i running in inside and then dn will be the, the closed disk in rn which is defined by the following inequality so these are the vectors in rn whose norm is less or equal than 1. And then uh, another uh, assumption that we make right now once for all is that all the maps and functions are uh, continuous unless mentioned otherwise. So I might occasionally stress the fact that the maps are continuous so we'll say that they are continuous otherwise if I don't mention anything it has to be assumed that they are continuous anyways. And then the last notation at this point I feel like introducing is the following. For the nth dimensional sphere in Rn plus 1, it's the, defined as to be the set of vectors x in Rn plus 1 such, such that the norm of them e equals exactly 1. And this is an dimensional sphere. Mm -hmm.